Hi and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So we are back again to our open web application security project web application penetration testing series. So once again we have looked at the number of ways of inspecting a site and of course in on one of our videos we actually look at the whole customer journey looking and inspecting about a site. So again I want to highlight that the moment you get to a site you don't just begin injecting different kind of payloads and you know running all your different scripts running all your different injections the first thing you want to do is to look at how a customer would actually walk through the entire site so we will with the help of web developer so let's say I click on to the network web developer we can zoom in a little more so it's easy for you to see so we can do a refresh or reload and we can look at all the scripts that are being loaded as part of the site okay so i can zoom in a little more and we can see a number of javascript so we can see like runtime we can see vendor polyfills main etc etc so we can see all these different javascript cookie content and all these different items that are loaded as part of this of course we also found application programming interfaces that can also be queried so we see a lot of all these different data and one of those things is really important to understand about how websites are being structured are the javascript so for example over here if i do a right click on main-es2015.js so again we are trying to gather information as much as we can about the website before we launch a specific attack and the purpose of doing that is so that we can bypass certain firewalls we can bypass web application firewall we can ensure that we do not trigger any kind of alarm systems so again we want to fully understand comprehend and map out how the entire site work and of course one of the best ways to understand about how web application work is to of course build it entirely by yourself and see and map how those things work okay so going back to the tutorial so over here at main-es2015 so again it will be a, a job to actually inspect all these different javascript so i'm gonna go ahead and copy all right i'm gonna copy the url and we'll open up a new tab and i'm gonna paste it and hit enter on that so of course here we have the javascript and of course it has been minified so what do i mean by minified because the whole idea is to get rid of as much indentation spaces as possible so that it is significantly you can load a lot faster and you can save a lot more space in sending that data across okay so over here i'm going to copy everything i'm going to copy everything do a right click copy i'm going to go to this site called unminify all right so i'm going to paste the code here and i'm going to click or i'm zooming a little more so it's easier for you to see okay so i'm gonna click on unminify all right so this makes it more human readable so that we can dissect the segments and look at how they're actually going to structure the javascript so i'm gonna copy again i'm gonna copy the unminified javascript i'm gonna go into notepad plus plus so notepad plus plus will give us a very nice way of looking at a situation so i've already done that so i'm going to paste it over here onto notepad plus plus so we can actually look at all this very nice indentation makes it much easier for us to analyze what is going on what is the purpose of the javascript what can this javascript do for the website how does it affect the customer journey so as i scroll down i can see okay we have number of functions we have computation we have all these ways of redirecting users and so on and so forth so one of those things that we can look for is of course direct okay so we can do a control f so i'm going to go under magnifier so it's easier for you to see so i'm going to open a magnifier i'm going to scroll over here so of course you can see that we have this fine so we can look for example for direct so it could again be a way for us to find certain redirection links that could have otherwise been discarded as part of the updates to the website so i'm going to click on find one redirect click and find next so we can find like offset direction and so on so we can find all this different information can we find more details can we find things more specifically 
about certain links can we find more items that would actually show us the redirection to a url so we see a lot of direction so again we can refine our searching so for example if i enter redirect can we find something else so if i click find next look what we got here so it says show bitcoin qr code and of course i'm going to zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see and we can look over here there's a url redirect to and we have this blockchain.info so this again we can see the address and of course if i scroll down some more we have dash qr code and again we are seeing all this different data so again all this redirection places adderscan.io and we can see the address so this could be payment systems and we could possibly change it and for example if i look over here use wallet and it puts an exclamation zero what does that mean what if i change zero to one how would it affect the customer experience of the site what would get loaded and what would not get loaded so all these are the questions that you have to be asking yourself as you are inspecting and analyzing the structure of the site and the way they are logically planning the activities that will be executed as part of the customer journey so what else can we find so if you go back into open web application security project over here so i'm going to close the magnify for a moment okay so we're back into the owsp juice shop website and if you look at the url at the top so again if you look at the url at the top so we can see the url here so we can see for example we have the website name port number and slash hex slash search so if i click on the left side tab and for example if i click on customer feedback and over here we can see slash hex contact okay so again we are looking at all these different pages and we're thinking how are they being led into what is the process could it be a direction from the javascript okay so these are the questions you have to be asking yourself all the time so if i go back onto the notepad plus plus in which we have the unminified the original version of the javascript so can we search specifically for those information as well so for example if we go back into the owasp juice shop so we have contact so if i go back into the search and i enter contact and i click on find next okay so we got contact email we got so on and so forth so are we able to find something a little more specific again okay so over here we can find for example this is login and so on and so forth scoreboard okay and here we are seeing okay we have about we have delivery method deluxe membership basket contact photo wall this seems like the segment that actually has all these different addresses so we have administration okay can we try this let's go back to the site and enter and change this to administration so uh, let's go ahead and enter administration and hit enter okay so uh we can see over here all right so we can look at all these different data and information all right um how about trying something else accounting all right how about um, payment forget password scoreboard can we see those data can we see those information are we able to access to those data so if i enter score dashboard can we gain access to it oh yes we found something here so we found a scoreboard all right so we can find all this different data by looking specifically in the javascript which may be hiding some of these different pages different links different redirections and we can also look and think about the activities that will be executed as part of the customer journey all right so let me know what else you find from inspecting the javascript okay and of course i hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial and if you like what you've just watched remember to like share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial thank you so much once again for watching